In this video, I'm going to give you my full thoughts and review on one of Tumi's most popular wallets. This is the Tumi Alpha Multi-Window Card Case Wallet. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. I make videos about tech, EDC, and travel. If any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing. So what is it? So about this wallet, I actually purchased this wallet to use before my current daily driver, the Bellroy Car Pocket Wallet. This one here is made by Tumi, and for those of you guys who aren't familiar with Tumi, they make premium suitcases and bags for travel and are famous for what's called their FXT Ballistic Nylon, which is an ultra durable, abrasion proof fabric that Tumi uses on almost all of their products. So how does this look? This wallet here is made from exactly that material, the FXT Ballistic Nylon. And if you ask me, I think it looks really sleek. The interior of the wallet is made from leather with two clear window openings for things like IDs, Metro cards, or even membership cards. So as far as pockets go, there are eight pockets in total. On the first flap, there are two vertical pockets, one vertical pocket going down and one right in front of it going down into a clear window. There is also a horizontal pocket underneath. On the other flap, there are three vertical pockets for cards going down, and then right behind that is one horizontal pocket. If you flip this flap over, there is another additional pocket with a clear window. So how does it feel? The wallet itself feels very good to hold. The ballistic nylon has a very handsome look and textured feel. This would be perfect if you're looking to go for a dark themed everyday carry, like one that you see here. I have a Gerber Dime multi-tool and a small tactical flashlight to complement this wallet. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you can drop a thumbs up on this video as it really does help me out. So the leather on the inside feels really nice as well, and the plastic lining for the windows seem very high quality also. Definitely not that cheap stuff that can rip and tear easily. So how much can this thing hold? The wallet itself is 3.1 inches wide by 4.4 inches tall and 0.4 inches thick. Here is my typical loadout with the wallet. I carry 8 cards and 5 bills with the multi-tool. And as you can see, it is pretty thick. It's a very thick boy! There's also no specific place to put your bills or extra papers in, so I typically just stuff it into this pocket here. This wallet is also lined with RFID technology as well, and Tumi calls this the Tumi ID Lock. And for anyone curious, this is my big skinny bifold that I used for 4 years, loaded with the items mentioned. In the end, I really wanted to like this wallet. I really tried to make it work, but the lack of a dedicated cash compartment, the inability to store an abundant amount of cards, and just overall bulk of the wallet was a deal breaker for me. With that being said, it isn't a bad wallet by any means. Just because this wallet isn't for me, doesn't mean that it wouldn't be great for you. If you're someone who rarely carries cash, and only needs roughly 4-5 to five cards at a time, I think this will be perfect for your needs. At $70, it's definitely on the pricey side, but you're also getting premium materials as well. What do you guys think of this wallet? Let me know down in the comments below. In the meantime, this wallet will live in my work bag to store business cards and extra cards that I use for traveling. Thank you guys for tuning into Switch Into Turbo, and please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and also subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks again for watching, and hope you guys are staying safe, healthy, and well during this time. Have an awesome day.